pseudocode is a description of a computer programming algorithm that uses some of the structures and conventions of a programming language, like JavaScript, but resembles ordinary language. Programmers use pseudocode to plan and refine their code in stages until it's executable. It is also used to leave comments along the way to help explain the logic to other programmers that might be collaborating on the same code. In this step, you are given a section of pseudocode that includes bits of JavaScript. Notice that all the pseudocode starts with a double slash. This tells the program that this line is not executable. Let's go through this together and complete the program using both the pseudocode and the text canvas help along the way. Start by tapping the copy code button in step three. Then select the program canvas button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it conditionals. Choose the text program type and select the robot that you are using. You can delete the existing code before pasting the code you copied in the step. Remember, all the lines of text that start with the double slash are your pseudocode. Let's start at the top. Setting the stabilization to false will turn it off. Next, let's have the program speak to invite users to play the toss game. You will now use a while loop that has a non-stopping case. This is the same as loop forever from the blocks canvas. Inside this loop, you will also create an if else statement that changes Sphero's colors and plays a random animal sound each time it is tossed. You need to be sure to use the open curly brace to tell the code to look for the logic within. Now, let's create a constant. Constants are variables that are set once they are declared and cannot be modified later. Let's call the constant Excel test. This constant is going to test or measure the total change in acceleration across all three axes. But how will you do that? Tap on the overflow in the top right corner, those three little dots, and select the text canvas help. Locate sensors and scroll down to accelerometer. The fourth example of code is what we need to measure the combined acceleration of all three axes. Copy it, and now let's paste it and declare the value of Excel test, and don't forget to close it with a semicolon. Next is the if else statement to determine if Sphero has been tossed, and we'll call on Excel test and experiment and see if it measures greater than 3Gs. Use another open curly bracket to call the then logic within. We want to see Sphero turn green when the condition is reached. If you don't remember the set main LED command, you can check the text canvas help again. Set red and blue to zero and green to 255. Now call a random animal sound with the await sound, then animal, then play, and set it to true. And if you don't toss Sphero hard enough, let's turn it red. Close the then logic with a close curly bracket and begin the else logic. Set the main LED to red and then end the logic. Mm -hmm.